So here in this video, we are going to solve the quadratic equation by factoring. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that one side of the equation is equal to zero. Uh, this is already done for us in this example. Notice how the right side is equal to zero, and all the rest of the terms are on the left side. And if this is not done for you, um, then you got to make sure that you add or subtract so that you have zero on the right side and all the rest of the terms are on the left side. And once you have the quadratic equation in this form, the easiest way to solve it would be factoring. So that's the first method you should try to solve quadratic equations is by factoring. So let's try and factor this left-hand side of the equation. Notice how we have a trinomial, we have an x squared term, we have a negative 8x term, and we have a constant, which is 15. And any time you factor a trinomial, it's always going to factor into two parentheses. And notice, even though you can't see it, that there is a 1 in front of your x squared term. Uh, there's always an implied 1 if there's nothing there. And any time that there is a 1 in front of the x squared term, you know that your first two terms are going to be x in your parentheses, because x times x gives us our 1x squared. And now we need to pick two numbers that multiply and give us a positive 15 that also add and give us a negative 8. So which numbers multiply to give us positive 15? We have 1 times 15 gives us positive 15. Negative 1 times negative 15 gives us a positive 15. Negative 3 times negative 5 gives us positive 15. And those are the two numbers that we need. We need negative 3 and negative 5. Notice how these two numbers multiply negative 3 times negative 5 and give us a positive 15. And they also add negative 3 plus negative 5 gives us our negative 8. And of course, this is all equal to 0. So moving on to our next step. Notice how we have two parentheses. We have one parentheses here in red. And this parentheses, which I underlined in red, is being multiplied by this set of parentheses, which I underlined in green. And what we need to do is set each set of parentheses equal to 0. So I'm going to set x minus 3 equal to 0. And I'm going to set the green parentheses x minus 5 equal to 0. And many of you are probably wondering why we set each parentheses equal to 0. So let's just say that the first parentheses is parentheses A. And the second parentheses is parentheses b. Notice how they're being multiplied by each other, and they equal 0. Now notice, if two parentheses being multiplied equal 0, then we know that one of them has to equal 0. For example, if a equals 0, uh, 0 multiplied by b, it doesn't matter what b is, because 0 times anything is going to be equal to 0, and vice versa. If b equals 0, uh, it doesn't matter what a is, because a multiplied by 0 is going to equal 0. So that's why we made our red parentheses and our green parentheses both equal to 0. And now we just need to solve for x. Here in this red equation, if we just add 3 to both sides, the 3's cancel on the left side, and we have x is equal to positive 3. And here in this green equation, if we just add 5, to both sides, the fives cancel out, and we have x is equal to positive 5. So we have two solutions for this quadratic equation. x is equal to 3, or x is equal to positive 5.